let's go ahead and move on to setting up Unity Part 2. And now we can actually get into the um, to the part involving adding audio to animations. Now, as we mentioned previously, I'm going to go ahead and enter play mode. We wanted to uh, add audio to this running animation. And this running animation involves no weapons, so we can assume this is an unarmed run animation. So we need to find that animation in our project folder, not in the hierarchy. So under our project folder, under our all-star character library folder, we will find a folder called root anims female. And if we expand that, we're going to get a list of all of these animation files that the avatar is calling under specific conditions that the player has input. So what we want to find are these files down here, which are prefixed with the letters UN, and that stands for unarmed. As we can see here, we find one-handed attack, one-handed combat idle, one-handed combat run, two-handed attack, two-handed combat run, etc., etc., on down the line. And what we can reasonably infer is that there is a set of animations for every single weapon. So there's a run animation for the one-handed weapon, a run animation for the two-handed weapon, uh, death and pain animations for all of the weapons as well. But what we are interested in is the unarmed run animation, and we can reasonably assume that that is here, base female at UN combat run female, or F. And the way that we confirm our suspicions that this is the correct animation is to select the animation in the project folder window. And you'll notice that we get a preview of the animation here in the bottom of the inspector window. Now, when you first click on it, you might get something that looks like this. And all you have to do to get there to the preview window is make sure that the animations tab is selected. So click the animations tab and you will find a preview here. And we could expand that window by hovering our mouse over the borders of the window and clicking and dragging. So we see here a preview and we can press play and the preview will cycle through the animation that we have selected in our project folder. Now we can also hover our mouse in the preview window and hold down our right mouse button and move the camera around to get different views of the animation. Now you may have noticed that the model in the preview window does not match the model for our avatar. And that is because animation files are um, sequences that can be applied to certain rigs. Um, and that rig doesn't necessarily mean it looks like the model that we're using for our avatar. Right now we're just seeing the animation on a base rig that can basically be applied to uh, any other model that will share the same rig. Okay, so uh, something I want to show you is that we can grab the playhead here in the preview window and we can scrub through the animation um, and go through it very slowly to see exactly where we want to our audio to play. Now the way that we're going to trigger our audio is by adding it to a timeline. At a certain point in the timeline, we want Unity to call our audio event. So we want a certain frame to trigger our sound call function. Let's go ahead and go back to our order of operations and look at which step we're on. We're currently on select the appropriate animation file, which we have done. Make sure the animation tab is selected in the inspector, which we have done. Scrub through the preview using the red playhead until you find the animation frame you wish to add audio to. So we are, uh, as we mentioned previously, adding audio to the footsteps for this animation. Let's go ahead and confirm that this is the correct animation by previewing it in the preview window. 
getting a good idea of how that looks, and then making sure that that's the right animation that we want to work with. So as we can see, the animation in the preview window matches the animation in the game. And we know that we have the correct animation file, which is unarmed combat run F or UN combat run F. Okay, so now that we have the right information, uh, the right animation file, let's go ahead and use the red playhead here to scrub through till we find where we want to call our footstep event. Now I'm going to move the camera to get a better shot of where the foot is in relation to the ground plane and scrub through until about here. Now, a lot of folks might think that they want to trigger a footstep event when the foot is completely on the ground plane. However, you will learn to trigger audio events before the actual event, and it will sound much better to lead them slightly by adding them a couple frames before uh, before when you think they might trigger. So I prefer to add my audio events almost when the heel uh, strikes the the heel of the model strikes the ground plane. So as we can see, the foot's not completely on the ground yet, but the heel is 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 pointing at the ground and it's almost touching. And this is about where I want to add my audio event. So that should take care of step four for our operations for setting up Unity Part 2. Uh, and actually, that'll be step three. All right, so in our order of operations for setting up Unity Part 2, we have step four, which tells us under events in the inspector window, click the add new event button. And this is after we have scrubbed through the preview and uh, using the playhead until we found the animation frame we wish to add audio to. We've done that. So now we want to add a new event uh, in the events in the inspector window. So this is the inspector window and we are looking for events. Now if you hover your mouse in this window, you have to scroll down until these menu options come up. Curves, curves, events, mask, motion, import message messages. So we're concerned with the events menu. Now you have to expand it and we're going to see yet a third timeline. And this is the timeline that we are going to want to add our animation event to. If you'll notice, the, there is a playhead in the timeline that corresponds with the playhead in our preview window. So as soon as you moved the playhead in the preview win window to where you want it, uh, you know that it's in the correct spot in the event timeline. You'll notice that you cannot move the playhead in the event timeline only in the preview window. So once we have it where we want, there's a button over here that says Add Event under the Events menu. So let's go ahead and click Add Event. And that brings us to the next step in our operation.